I'm Captain John Irwin. I'm a guide here in Charleston, South Carolina, and this is my edge. I've used a variety of edge boxes for probably a lot of things that other guides are using them for. Tarpon baits, uh, topwater baits, all my terminal tackle. Um, one of the best new usages I've found for these edge boxes is I keep a lot of my flies in there. I do a ton of inshore fly fishing and we also do a lot of offshore fly fishing here. And one thing that I haven't found that's very available in a lot of fly boxes out there right now is the rust prevention and uh, just a really great sealed box to keep water out. Especially we're out in the ocean, uh, we're always out in the elements, things are always getting wet. And once those feathers and the fur um, starts to get wet, it's not like a piece of plastic where everything else just kind of has this quick drying off. Um, this stuff gets soaked, it stays soaked. It's like a sponge, so you get a lot of water in there and uh, not a whole lot of uh, places for it to go. So keeping these flies protected, a, a ton amount of time goes into making these flies and even some of these big nice poppers uh, that we buy aren't cheap and uh, we want them to last. So having a, a box that keeps them protected, um, keeps them sealed, keeps them out of the elements is really important. Um, you'll notice this box, I, I have a little bit of inshore stuff and a little bit of offshore stuff in here, um, stuff for jacks and, and, and even some stuff for redfish. I've taken the dividers out. Um, the one thing that you can kind of run into with boxes like this is the uh, flies maybe sliding into the corners and sliding into the, the dividers and pushing these feathers up. And once these feathers um, get kinked, it's hard for them to ever straighten back out again. And I found with keeping the dividers out, we're able to uh, keep the flies laying uh, nice and flat and the uh, feathers and stay uh, very organized and um, don't, get, don't get real fouled up. Um, I've got some stuff in here for some mackerel, uh, some jacks. I've got some nice cobia flies in here um, and everything I need uh, for uh, fishing a good day near shore. The other thing, uh, I've, I've, I've really kind of uh, been drawn to the slim boxes a little bit more for the, uh, for the flies. It keeps them uh, pinned down a little bit more when you kind of stack them up in there. Um, versus the uh, 3700 regular that might be a little bit deeper. There's more room uh, for those flies to move around in there, but keeping these flies uh, in the slim boxes um, seems to work a little bit better. That's my edge. What's yours? <laughs>